Hey everybody, this is Eric with Graphic T Coach. So today I'm going to show you how to install custom fonts, or not custom fonts, but new fonts onto your machine so that you can use it in your t-shirt designs. And this is actually really good timing. Margaret actually just was commenting over in T-Shirt Gang asking, uh, they do a font of the week every uh, every weekend, uh, highlighting some, some specific font. And you most of the time don't have these fonts by default on your computer. So here's how you do it. There are a ton of free fonts available online. So today I'm going to show you how to make a Nintendo related uh, shirt, okay? So the first thing I did was I came to my favorite site for getting free images, which is called Pixabay. I used it, I think, in my last video too. And I just uh, clicked here. I'm going to make this. You've, you've probably seen the classically trained Nintendo shirt. So I am going to download this image. And I'm just going to drag it over here. I'm just going to show you how to make this in PowerPoint. We're not going to make anything too fancy. Um, just it's just easier to easy to show it off this way now i have this sized to be the right dimensions for a t-shirt gang shirt um, and you can change the dpi blah 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 anyway i recommend and i use gimp uh or powerpoint or i mean sorry gimp photoshop or paint.net uh for designing or some other you know specific design program but powerpoint is really easy to show you a white sheet of paper really easy and put this on here okay so there's the nintendo controller then we're going to run over here and we're going to go to google and i just googled nintendo font free because i want it for free right and the nice thing is so i you can you can come here and sites like font space or font squirrel or defont or a thousand and one fonts you can see there are a ton there's defont here here's font meme fam fonts, freefonts.com, lots of fonts, okay? I just went with the first one. Now, you can start a f you can put on a filter to only show commercial use fonts. Some fonts are only available uh, free for personal use. You have to purchase them if you want to use them commercially. I don't want to purchase them, so I'm just showing the ones that are free for commercial use, right? So, the first font I found that I liked was this Nintendo font. So, we're just going to download that Okay, now it's downloaded as a zip file. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up the zip file and you're going to look for a specific file and that is TTF, okay? So this TTF file is the actual font file that you want. Now I have my font book here that is open. Now the font book is where all the fonts live on your computer if you have a Mac. If you have a PC, then it's just in a folder called fonts. And you can get that by going either up here to the magnifying glass and searching fonts, or by going to the search uh, bar in Windows 10 or Windows 7, whatever, um, in order to find your, find your folder called fonts. Then you just grab this TTF file, drag it into the font folder, and it will install it really quickly. And you can see this font was called Nintender. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, it's now been added. So something you have to remember, and this is really important. If we come back here and we say that we want to insert a text box, and I'm gonna make this one of those classically trained, classically trained uh, t-shirts, right? Now, if we come here to the fonts and we search Nintendo, it's not here. And the reason it's not here is because, see, it should be, should be right here between News, Gothic, MT, and Noteworthy, but it's not. The reason is because we have to restart the program so that it can go back and find the new, any new fonts that have been added, okay? So don't worry. If that happens, just remember what I'm telling you right now. So we're going to save this. Then I'm going to close PowerPoint and reopen it. I'm just going to probably cut the video right here because that way you don't have to watch me closing and reopening stuff. Okay, so PowerPoint, quit PowerPoint. Okay, and we are back. So I restarted the PowerPoint program. And so now you can see if I click here on this text box, and actually I'm going to click on both of them, come up here to the fonts. I can scroll down to the N section and I will find Nintendo. There it is, right where we wanted it. And so now I have this Nintendo font that I can use on my designs. Now, so I would probably take this and maybe shrink this down just, just a little bit to be about the, about the same length as the Nintendo controller here. 
and then take them and rotate them. Ah, it's probably a bit much. Rotate them just a little bit, and then make this font a little bit bigger. Whoa, that's probably a little too big. Anyway, so you can see, you can put this together and you can bend the fonts, you can add new things to it. But the main thing that I wanted to show you in this video was how to add custom fonts from all sorts of places online to your own computer so that you can use them. I have added a lot of fonts. It's fun to find fonts that are like, like I have a Star Wars font, for example. I really like the Star Wars font. I have a font here, it's called Jedi something. Let's see here. Oh, I love this font. It's called Joysticks. So Joysticks is a great 8-bit font. I use this for gaming-related t-shirts. I'm definitely a big fan. I think it's called Star something. Here it is, Star Jedi. So Star Jedi comes out looking like a uh, uh, Star Wars logo font or whatever. So anyway, lots of different fonts. It's a lot of fun. Have fun with it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.